So today I'm going to be sharing about an exciting new ministry that the uh, Centre for International Reconciliation and Peace in our Tabernacle of David Cairns is starting. It's something that's been on Norman's heart for a really long time and uh, it's really his uh, vision, although I'm sharing it today because it's uh, my turn to, to minister and of course um, I help Norman to put things in place for it. And so the ministry is called Tabernacle of David Asia Pacific Network and Todd App for short. So basically it's a, it's a prayer ministry and it will be by Zoom and the whole idea of it is, is praying for Asia and the Pacific and what Norman envisaged is two menorahs. So we have a nine candle menorah and we also, and that is representing Asia and a seven candle menorah side by side with it representing the Pacific. Now one of the scriptures on his heart is very much about the islands of the sea and uh, so I'll read that one and uh, Isaiah 51 5 my righteousness draws near speedily my salvation is on the way and my arm will bring justice to the nations the islands will look to me and wait in hope for my arm so you will remember that we actually hosted a conference in 2014 called uh, The Islands Look to Me and we had speakers from Asia Pacific and Israel at that particular conference and in fact we've, um, we've held 10 24-7 conferences over the years and they've all had a focus on Asia Pacific and Israel. And uh, I won't go into all of that today, but Norman and I were talking about it last night and um, it's absolutely amazing that the huge focus that the Lord has had us on with um, Israel, Asia Pacific and actually the Isaiah 19 Highway as well. So when we have a look at it, there are nine major islands uh, in Asia which we don't often think about that, but in fact there are. And uh, so what they are, so that's the nine candles, the nine major islands. And so we have Taiwan, Singapore, Japan, the Philippines, Indonesia and Brunei, Sri Lanka and the Maldives, East Timor and Hong Kong. And so then the base, so each of, each of those is representing one candle on the menorah and then the base of the menorah is the rest of Asia. Of course, as you know, um, China and uh, India, Malaysia, Korea, etc. and other nations form the, the base. And so the, uh, with the Pacific one, the seven candle menorah, what we have is um, Polynesia, Melanesia, Micronesia and Australia and New Zealand and the Isaiah 19 Highway. Now in the, the middle, the uh, middle candle in both cases is uh, Israel. So we praise the Lord for that. And we know that the Pacific is often called the ends of the earth. And so this is a scripture that um, Norman singled out as well, Psalm 22, 27. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations will bow down before him. Isn't that beautiful, families of the nations? And so we know with the um, Pacific Islands there's been a very strong um, movement for a very long time um, called the Deep Sea Canoe Vision with the, um, the All Pacific Prayer Assembly 
and that has been a movement um, from the ends of the earth back to um, Jerusalem. So we know that the gospel went from Jerusalem to the ends of the earth. For some time it's been going um, back again. We also know that um, in Asia there's a strong uh, back to Jerusalem movement, particularly with the uh, Chinese Christians of um, and going back actually through the Arab nations um, to Israel as well. And so one of the um, scriptures that's important to, we believe, this um, vision that's been on our heart for a really long time is um, Isaiah 19, 23 to 25. In that day there will be a highway from Egypt to Assyria the Assyrians will go to Egypt and the Egyptians to Assyria. The Egyptians and Assyrians will worship together. In that day, Israel will be the third, along with Egypt and Assyria, a blessing on the earth. The Lord Almighty will bless them, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, Assyria, my handiwork, and Israel, my inheritance. So that's just, just so beautiful and, you know, since we went to, in 1998, um, since we went to the uh, Jerusalem House of Prayer for All Nations um, Conference, uh, that scripture has been very much uh, on, on our heart. And the other thing uh, is that Jerusalem really is the center of the earth. So the other scripture Norman has chosen is Ezekiel 5.5. 5. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. This is Jerusalem which I have set in the center of the nations with countries all around her. So uh, that's why with the menorah we have um, Israel as the center candle um, in each case. So what we are looking at is having a at least one representative from every nation in Asia Pacific and also representatives from um, Israel and the Isaiah 19 Highway. Uh, the Isaiah 19 Highway, I've shared quite a lot about that in the past. There are actually a lot of nations that are part of that. but uh, and, and it even involves Northern Africa as well because that's where um, Egypt, for example, is. But uh, we, we praise the Lord because uh, this is a very um, large prayer focus, but I believe it's something that's very important on the Lord's heart. And uh, as I said, I won't share about it today, but the the amount of time that we have ministered into that whole area of Asia Pacific um, has been huge and with all of our conferences we've had speakers from Asia Pacific, Israel and sometimes from the Arab nations as well uh, for many many years now right back to 1998. So we thank the Lord for that and uh, you know, there, there are, of course, um, other ministries focused on praying for Asia and the Pacific, of course, and um, that's how it should be. But, you know, when I was praying about this, the Lord, Lord was saying, well, are the bowls full? And we know it talks in uh, Revelation 5, 8, and when he took the scroll, the four living beings and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, each one had a harp and they held gold bowls filled with incense which are the prayers of God's people. And so the bowls aren't full yet. And so the more prayer that we can raise up, the better. Amen. So we praise the Lord for the opportunity to continue um, uh, to raise up the Tabernacle of David in uh, Australia and in Israel and the nations and also the Isaiah 19 Highway. And so that scripture from Amos 9:11, which is one of our absolute favourite scriptures, in that day I will raise up the Tabernacle of David, 
that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Amen. And we know that scripture is repeated in Acts 15 as well. So I'm excited about what the Lord's going to do through this particular ministry. And so we're looking at having it on um, uh, the second and third, second and fourth Thursday night of the month um, from 6 p.m. till 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time and uh, we will be having uh, representatives from many many nations some of them resident in Australia some of them resident overseas we have to really look at time zones and languages but you know it's going to be really exciting because the the launch date that the Lord has put on Norman's heart is actually a Rev Shavuot. Now that is um, the 28th of May at 5 p.m. So I've checked out when, because a Rev means the night before, but it's, we know that Jewish days start at sunset, and sunset in Canberra is 5 p.m. Sunset in Sydney is five minutes to five that day. And uh, we've already put a call out for blowing the show farm at uh, 5 p.m. on uh, the Thursday, the 28th of May, to herald in uh, Shavuot, which many in the church know as uh, the Feast of Pentecost, which was when the Holy Spirit came upon the church in the upper room and they spoke in many tongues. So it's a very um, fitting time to be launching this particular ministry which is going to spread over so many nations. So we thank the Lord for that. And uh, just saying a, a little bit more about it, uh, the vision Norman had, as I said, was of these two menorahs, the uh, nine candle one or Hanukkah and the seven candle one. And uh, so when I was um, praying about it, you know, the Lord was just reminding me that uh, Israel is called to be a light to the nations. Jesus or Yeshua is called to be a light to the nations. Christians are called to be a light to the nations. And when you have a look at these um, menorahs, uh, you see that um, um, e each of those nations has a light. So. Having a look at um, Revelation, we know that um, the Lord spoke to the churches there in Revelation. Interestingly, they were in Asia Minor. And uh, he spoke to the angel of the churches, but also he was talking about the lampstand of the churches. The lampstand was the menorah. So each of those churches had their own spiritual menorah, their own light, and he didn't want that light or their witness to go out. And so what we have here is, um, I believe, in having the menorah representing the nations in Asia and um, the Pacific, um, we're really looking at um, the national churches in those nations being a menorah, but also being part of a menorah with the whole Pacific and um, Asian regions as well. So uh, one of the things that's on our heart is uh, praying for the persecuted church in those nations as well uh, because we know that there are issues with um, um, Buddhism, um, Islam, Hinduism, etc., um, secularism, uh, humanism, all uh, affecting the uh, churches in these nations. And so we will be praying into that. The, the other thing is the Lord put on my heart is uh, also praying through the old trade routes. So we have the um, spice route coming from the uh, Pacific um, to, um, through the Middle East to Jerusalem. We have also the Silk Road um, from China through the Middle East to Jerusalem. And we have the incense trail as well. 
um, through the Middle East to Jerusalem. So three major trade routes there that I believe that the Lord will have us focusing on um, prayer on as well. And the other thing that uh, the Lord put on my heart, and I'll, I'll finish with this because um, it won't be a long message today, and uh, but we're really excited and we just um, pray that you will be keeping this in prayer and supporting us with the launch um, on Shavuot or Pentecost on Thursday. So I've just finished on the point that when I was praying about it um, and the Lord had me um, uh, in prayer dealing with some territorial spirits and python spirit, etc., um, wanting to restrict um, our nation and ministry but uh, the Lord uh, was showing me the alliance between the dragon and the rainbow serpent we know they're pretty much the same spirit a world ruler but there is an alliance there and uh, the Lord was showing me because of all the work that um, Norman has done over the years um, in dealing with the um, rainbow serpent that's one of the reasons he's called Norman to lead up this uh, particular um, ministry of um, Asia Pacific, sorry, Tabernacle of David Asia Pacific Prayer Network. So uh, I'll leave that with you and uh, we ask for your prayer support. And if you feel to actually join us on Thursday night, that would be wonderful as well. It will be by Zoom. And uh, we will let you know the um, Zoom room number if you're interested in joining us. So I'll just finish in prayer. Lord, uh, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So Lord, I pray that your will will be done in this Tabernacle of David Asia Pacific Prayer Network. Lord, let your will be done. And Lord, we just pray that all the nations will bow to you and will worship you. And we pray, Lord, that as you've called Norman and I to lead up this ministry, we just pray that you would um, enable us by your Holy Spirit to um, fulfil this calling in, in you. And uh, we pray your blessings on all that we do. And Lord, we just pray that you would just keep us close to your heart in all that we do. We ask in Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen.